Right, so a very good morning. May I ask those who are not speaking to kindly mute their mics? We are about to start. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so anyone who wants to ask a question, you can either raise your hand. Um, then I'll give you the space to, to fire. Uh, so we have uh, Zimbabwe Captain Chamuchi Baba here to take your questions. Um, we can get going. Uh, good morning. Uh, morning. Morning. Okay, Dean. Morning, Chamu. This is Dean speaking. How are you? I've joined you via audio, not video, because video is of no use to me. Hi, Dean. I'm good. Thanks. I'm good. Um, Chamu, obviously, this is wonderful news for Zimbabwe to be back in Pakistan again. It, it's, I know, has very happy memories for you because the last time Zimbabwe were there was back in 2015. And you scored your career best of 99. Is it uh, something that you'd like to try, try and, and put right now and finally get those three figures, something which you've been wanting to do for such a very long time? Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this definitely. is something I've been thinking about. Last time I was here, I had a really distant series, and uh, now I'm back as captain. It would be nice to, you know, to, to get some really good form and uh, lead the team from the front. Um, your, your stint as captain has been a little bit short because, unfortunately, you got injured in Bangladesh. Uh, is, is it something that you're looking forward to? Are you relishing the challenge of captaining the side towards the end of your career? Yeah, uh, definitely. I think it came at the right time. You know, um, after playing for, for a couple of years, um, you know, with a bit of experience over the years, uh, I think it's the perfect time for me to be leading the team. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll have a really good series against Pakistan. Thank you. More, Yisha, you can come through. This was mute, muted before. Uh, uh, Jibaba, this is Moisha from the news here in Islamabad. I want to ask you a question regarding uh, Zimbabwe's performance in the recent past. You have always been very competitive when it comes to playing against the <coughs> best team. But uh, the thing is that uh, you lay killing instant. You know, when it comes to winning or losing, there you uh, uh, faltered in the past, in recent past, when it... Uh, Especially, you know, when we uh, see your performance in the World Cup qualifying round, I'm talking about Zimbabwe team performance. They played very well throughout the tournament. They played very well. But when it comes to uh, the edge, uh, winning and losing, that uh, that winning uh, uh, instinct was not there. Uh, do you think that in this series, uh, you will uh, come up to the expectation and go on to win the matches? Uh, uh, after competing uh, with the uh, with Pakistan, um, yeah, like you said, uh, over the years we've been a team that doesn't really quite get over the line, but it's something that we've talked about. So, uh, in the camp, uh, in the squad, uh, there's a lot more desperation to win, and uh, that is the mentality at the moment. And considering it's Super League games, each game that we play is going to be very crucial for us. So. We're not just going out there to compete. We want to win games. May Azif Jabba, may you please come through? Uh, hello, Jammu. This is Bazif Jabbar from Crickset.pk. My question to you is that Zimbabwe is touring Pakistan in uh, difficult circumstances. You know, the conditions aren't too good and you are bounded in the biosecure bubble. So how difficult it is to tour a country in these sort of circumstances, in these sort of conditions? Uh, well, personally for me, being in a bio bubble has been uh, one of the toughest things I've ever had to go through preparing for a tour. But I mean, it's COVID time, so uh, we have to do what we have to do to, to get some cricket. And um, uh, we're getting used to it now. Um, we start playing tomorrow. I think uh, the guys are more excited about playing. Uh, we've forgotten about the bubble. Um, now it's time to, to get on the field. 
Okay, Abdullah Haida. Um, from your point of view, how important is it uh, that we have a World Cup Super League in place with the World Cup just being a 10-team event? Because in this league, you'll get to play um, the same number of games as, a, as everyone else, as opposed to just doing it on the rankings. Um, I think I think it's fantastic because it gives us an opportunity to play against um, like bigger teams, teams that we wouldn't normally play against. So I think uh, the Super League is, is a bit of a blessing. And uh, it also gives us an opportunity to, if you play really good cricket and win matches, you won't have to do any qualifiers. You just qualify for the World Cup automatically, which is what we're looking to do. Okay, uh, Afa Feroz, Afa Feroz. Uh, welcome to Pakistan, Chamu. Uh, this is Arfa Feroz from Geo News. Uh, I want to ask you about the preparation. What sort of preparation you've had in uh, last uh, in, in past week? And uh, if I ask you uh, two or three names, what uh, which names are you targeting uh, in the Pakistan squad that these uh, could be threat for, for the uh, Zimbabwe? If you could tell those names, thank you. Uh, the preparations have been really good, and uh, obviously in the past we've been known to to play um, not really aggressive cricket, but uh, we've been trying to to put the bowlers under pressure, and uh, we don't really have any any names to target, but. We're just targeting to, you know, to put their ballers under pressure and uh, play a bit more aggressively. Because if you look at the way ODI cricket has evolved because of uh, 2020 leagues around the world, uh, the, the the scores have been ranging around 300, 300 plus. So those are the targets we're looking to set. Okay. Um, Usman Khan. Uh, gee, I, I have a question uh, regarding the uh, situation, security situation in Pakistan. How do you feel as a captain of Zimbabwe cricket and what message uh, do you give uh, to the other uh, uh, cricketing teams who can visit Pakistan in near future? The security is amazing. We've got presidential security. We've got nothing to worry about. Um, the only thing we need to be focusing on is, is cricket. Other than that, the, the security is amazing. I mean, I've never been looked after as well as I'm being looked after in, in, in Pakistan. What sort of message you uh, you would like to give to the other cricketing nations? I mean, it's safe to play cricket here and uh, the hospitality is amazing. Uh, there's not really anything to worry about. We're having a good time and uh, there, there hasn't been any complaints at all. Thank you. Okay, Tinashe, I see you've been wanting to ask. Kusema. Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Darlington, may I have an, ask another question or are there other people? Okay, Dean. All right, um, Chamu, one thing I've noticed just briefly away from, from cricket in a bit of downtown that you've had to, that you've had, even though you've been in the bio bubble, is this the team spirit seems to be very good. For example, the Jerusalem dance, which we've seen you guys do, and the little bit of football and getting uh, the fans to guess who's the best and who's the worst football player. That obviously must be very important as well, leading up to a, a series such as this. Uh, tell you what, the bubble is not all just, you know, uh, uh, negative and, and, and frustrating. I know we're uh, separated from our families, but it kind of bonds us together as a team because uh, it's all we have here. Um, we're not allowed to leave the hotels, so most of the times we, we, we celebrate birthdays, uh, we get into the team room, play, play games. We, we're spending a lot of time together, so... It's been pretty good from a team point of view. Okay, love Jim Tongwiza. Um, hi, Jellington. Hi, hi, Chamu. Um, so the Zim squad, look, looking at the Zim squad, it it has got relatively young players uh, compared to 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 Pakistan. Um, how do you rank our chances against them? And then uh, traditionally, we we haven't done well. Um, on the Asian peaches. So now that you're there, what are you going to be doing differently to ensure that we, we sneak in one or two victories? I think we've got a pretty, 
balanced side, youngsters and uh, experienced guys. And um, uh, if you look at our tour in 2015, uh, we did reasonably well, but we, we didn't do enough to win games. Nice. Uh, that's what we're uh, focusing on now. The emphasis is on guys uh, putting up performances that gets us over the line. Not just, you know, uh, a good looking 50, a good looking 100, but we want guys to, you know, to, to have the desperation to carry the team over the line. And that's the attitude at the moment in the camp. Okay, um, Kumran Shazad. Kuram Shazad. Yeah, welcome to Pakistan. My question is that, what are your main players which you think that they will perform better against Pakistan because you know Pakistan is the strong side? Um, I can't really pick on any player because it can be anyone's store. And uh, whoever is going to get an opportunity to perform uh, is going to be important that they carry the team and, uh, you know, they put up performances that win us matches because our main focus is to start winning games and... Um, that's what we, we, we're after. Okay, Abdullah Haider, here's one more question. Uh, a lot has changed since you've last been in international action. Um, with athletes taking a stance against racism, I'm just, I'm just wondering, do you have any plans to uh, take any stance during the series? So just taking a knee or anything along those lines? Um, well, uh, we haven't really talked about it. So uh, it's something that we... We're gonna look into it, but uh, I don't. I don't have a real answer at the moment whether we're gonna take a, a stand or not. Okay. All right. I'll take the last two questions. Uh, hey, Chamu. Uh, Steve Vickers back home in Zimbabwe. You, you said the bio bubble has been really tough. Can you just expand a bit on that? What's, what it's been like, what you haven't been able to do, what the challenges are like, and what you have been doing all this time? Uh, look, basically is um, we go to the ground, we go back to the hotel. You can't do really, you can't do much. Uh, we're not even allowed to, to, to go to the reception area. Uh, we're only allowed to stay on our floor, uh, on the second floor. We have the team room, we've got a gym, uh, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, we're separated from everybody else and uh, we can't even go outside unless if we're going for practice. Okay. Okay, Brighton. Seems like Brighton has some connectivity issues. Uh, Moi, here's one last question. Yeah, uh, this is Moisha. Uh, uh, have you seen the wicket on which uh, the first one day would be held? And how is the, how you feel it is a run a scoring wicket? Uh, good for batting, bowling or what? Uh, it looks like a really good batting wicket. There is a bit of grass on it, but um, we've managed to have a hit on the, on the table as well. And uh, it's not really doing much. It seems like a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a better friendly wicket. So... Runs on the board are going to be crucial. Okay, uh, love, uh, love, joy. The last question. All right, uh, thanks. Um, Mr. Kulich, you talked about you guys being being everybody else. What does this do now that you are you you're sort of no one you no interaction with everybody else? What does this do psychologically? Uh, say that again, please. Okay, I'm saying um, you guys are cut off from, from, from sort of the rest of the world. You are, you are on your own floor. You are cut off, you are cut off from, from everyone else. What does this do psychologically? What does this do mentally? Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, look, it's a bit tough. We're professionals, and uh, at the moment, uh, Everyone in the world is what they're doing for uh, for for cricket tours, and uh, it's been tough. But look, we're representing our country. Uh, uh, if this is what it takes, we love cricket, and uh, we'll do whatever it takes to to go out there and, and represent our country. And uh, we'll not use that as an excuse. 
it's just the new normal and uh, we just have to deal with it. All right, uh, that was Chamu Chibaba, the Zimbabwe captain. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, we'll hopefully meet you again virtually.